Graphical display modules or shields are easy to use and cost-effective solution for showing significant amount of data to the user, anything from text to plotted sensor data or images. This is 2.4-inch TFT touchscreen shield sent to me by isistation.com. They sent this for free, so I could make this demonstrational test video for you. The price of the display is around 5 bucks. You can check the current price and availability at the website. Link is in the description. The topic of this video is getting this display to work with the Arduino. I hate to ask this in advance, but if you find this video useful, interesting or just want to show your support, hit the like button. And if you aren't one of over 1000 subscribers I already have, consider subscribing. The pinout is printed on the silk screen, but you don't need to worry about that because the pinout is predefined in the library that I used. One important thing about the pinout, if you use the built-in microSD card slot, this shield will use almost all the GPIOs of the Arduino Uno. The controller inside the display hasn't been marked on the board, but that's not a problem either. The library can read identification bytes from it and use the received bytes to choose all the necessary things. On the hardware side, this is plug and play, so I'll just plug this in and we can see what libraries to use. Two required libraries can be installed through the Arduino IDE's library manager. First one is MCU Friend underscore KBV by David Prentice. This is the library made specifically for these MCU Friend DFT shields, which share the same pinout. This library relies on popular Adafruit GFX library, which can also be installed using the library manager. After installing these two libraries, you can open graphic test underscore KBV example, flash it to your Uno which has the display shield connected, and try if it works without any modifications. If it works, you don't need to do anything, just start developing your own project using the libraries. But if display stays white, but text printed on the serial port states that ID is 9342, you need to modify the library's MCU friend underscore kbv.cpp file, which can be found in the folder where you have your Arduino libraries installed. There's a small amount of code that needs to be added to that file. I will add information in the description, but don't worry, it's just copy pasting one block of code to that file. You can do all the common things like draw lines, text, etc. But there's one cool feature, vertical scrolling. It's done in display's hardware, so you can scroll the display without having to redraw it using the slowest Arduino microcontroller. When you scroll the display, lines that overflow from the display area will appear on the other end. Data on the first line goes to last line and other lines move up by one, or the opposite depending on the direction of the scrolling. Vertical scroll on this display support scrolling partial screen as well. For some reason it took me a while to understand how the vert scroll function works, but it's actually really simple. Maybe I was trying to think it was more complicated than it really is. You pass three arguments. First one tells how many lines from the top of the display are not part of the scrolled area. Second tells the height of the scrolling area. And third tells how much to scroll. Being able to leave part of the display outside of the scroll allows having a static title bar on top while the rest of the screen is scrollable. If you want to use the touch screen, you need to also download a third library. You can do it by going in this Adafruit touch screen library repo on GitHub, click clone or download and download zip. Folder inside the downloaded zip file should be moved to folder where your Arduino libraries are and renamed to touch screen. After that, you can run MCU friend underscore KBV libraries touchscreen calibration, which is in the examples, and take values that the sketch outputs and use them in your own project as calibration data. This will be enough for all of you to make your 2.4 inch TFT shields working. Now it's time for you to continue from here and use the display in your own applications.